Hi, Bill Blair again from Moments in Time. The little town now called Porterdale was little more than a cotton patch in 1830. Residents of the little settlement three miles south of Covington called it Cedar Shoals because of the profusion of cedar trees along the banks of the Yellow River. Business establishments in Cedar Shoals included a grist mill, blacksmith shop, sawmill, foundry, and a small country store. But Noah Phillips, a young man from Litchfield, Connecticut, had a bigger dream for Cedar Shoals. Along with his brother-in-law, John Persall, and capital of $40,000, Phillips bought land and erected a wool carding and cotton factory beside the river called Cedar Shoals Manufacturing Company. The factory had 1,184 spindles, 10 looms, and was operated by 45 employees who earned $5.75 a month. The partnership and ownerships of the mill changed hands several times over the years until Bibb Manufacturing Company of Macon bought the operation in 1880 from a group of owners which included Oliver S. Porter and renamed the factory Porterdale Mill. Tiny Cedar Shoals had grown along with the mill into a bustling little village. It was renamed Porterdale after Porterdale Mills Incorporated and Oliver S. Porter. Voters in Cedar Shoals voted to incorporate their town as Porterdale. On March the 10th, 1917, a Newton County moment in time. Newton County Moments in Time is a production of Blair on the Square, which is solely responsible for its content. For more information on this topic, go to blaironthesquare.com.